Hi to everyone. In this video, I would like to explain about Gaussian random process and Poisson random process. We know about random variables like Gaussian, binomial, Poisson, etc. In that, we have classified as continuous random variable as well as the discrete random variable. Gaussian is example for continuous random variable. Poisson is example for discrete random variable. Now, by including time t, random variable become as random process. Hence, in this video, I would like to explain about Gaussian random process. That means, in the Gaussian random variable, by including time t, we are going to framing as a Gaussian random process. I will explain. And the next one is Poisson random process. In the Poisson random variable, by including time t, I will explain about the Poisson random process. First, we will say about Gaussian random process. Let us define n number of random variables. Say, x1 is equal to x of t1, x2 is equal to x of t2, so on, xn is equal to x of tn. Like that, n number of random variables, if you are going to defining, at the respect two times, like t1, t2, so on, tn, respectively. Then, we can define jointly Gaussian random variable at the different times like t1, t2, so on, tn. Like that by including the time t in that the respect to Gaussian random variable become as a Gaussian random process. If we have defined x of t like that at different times that entire is known as the Gaussian random process. For any random variable or random process, we will describe by using its corresponding density function or distribution function. Now, for this case, by using the probability density function, for the case of n-dimensional Gaussian random process, the expression is given as small fx of x1, x2, so on, xn, semicolon, t1, t2, so on, tn, is equal to the exponential of minus 1 by 2 x minus x bar whole transpose into c x x whole inverse into x minus x bar whole divided by square root of 2 pi whole power n mod c x x. Here you can observe that these square brackets indicates that respect to matrix. C x x is known as the, this is the covariance matrix. And this x bar is nothing but the mean of the random process x of t at the respect to time. That is why x minus x bar is nothing but one matrix. And x minus x bar whole transpose here we are going to calculating c x x. So, by using the respective matrices, we are able to define the n dimensional Gaussian random process. And the next one is Poisson random process. Gaussian random process is example for continuous random process. Here, the Poisson random process is example for discrete random process. And this process is used for the applications of counting purpose. That is why here you can see that its corresponding density function is given as small fx of x is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 to infinity lambda into t whole power k into e power minus lambda t by k factorial into del of x minus k. Delta represents the impulse function says. That means here you can see that if you are going to plotting the poison random process, it consisting of impulse function indicates that it is the discrete random process. For this, if you calculate the distribution function, it consisting of the staircase step waveform. So, this is about the poison random process. So, in this video, I have explained two types of random process, 
the first one is gaussian and second one is the poisson these two are used in many applications that's why these two are the very important random process comparing with the others thank you